Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be covering the objectives, understand and use essential tools, create and edit text files, use input, output, redirection. So the first command that we're going to cover is going to be the cat command. Um, and always check what it is with the man. And here we go, concatenate files and print on standard output, right? So we can quit out of there with Q, we can control L to clear the screen. And so I did create a file to look at with this command, so we can ls like this, and then um, cat this. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna cat, and then cat this file like that. Boom, and it says here, Linux is an awesome OS, right? So then we can control L to clear our screen, and then we're gonna move forward here. We can less this command, uh, or less this file as well, like this, and then here we go. It puts us into the reader, or the pager, and you can see here, it's not a lot of information, but less is usually used when we have a lot of information um, in a file. So for example, let's create a file here. Let's create a file that has a lot of it input. And don't really worry about uh, what's going on with this command just yet. Uh, it's gonna make sense in a little bit. Um, here, and then line. So this is something I came up with a little bit earlier just to help with this example. But this is some of the tools and, and things that Linux can do that's, that's pretty awesome. Here you can also see we're doing some redirection, which I'll explain in a little bit. And so we're gonna just do this like this. Uh, right, so this is an echo command, and echo, we're gonna spit it out to this file here. We just press enter, and then we can control L to clear that up, and then ls and now we have file.txt and so let's cat that now right let's see what, what what came up there so boom we can see that there's a lot of information right and it made a lot of lines in this file right that's a lot of information so we can quit there or we can just press enter there and control l to get our screen back and with this file there's a lot of information so we can use less right to help us put that in a pager that will make it a little more readable, right? So it brings us to the top here, so line one now, and we can press enter to go down, space to go down, pages, enter to go one line, um, similar to, to the man pages and uh, Vim and, and all those kind of things. So we can go quit like that. Um, and then, so now what we can do is use our other commands. For example, we can use some more, right? So more file like this. It's very similar to um, to less as well. And we mostly use less because more is older um, and then it just has less features than less. Okay, so we can quit out there with Q as well. And then the next thing is that we're gonna use is head. So we can man head like this. And say so I'll put the first part of files like this, okay? So that's gonna be cool. So again, right, our problem is that this file is too big when we cat it. And so control L, and so we can head this file. TXT like that, right? And it shows the first 10 lines by default, okay? And then the next one we can use is tail, right? We can tail this, and again, always, running a new command, you just wanna man that. So man tail, I'll put the last part of files, right? So we can quit like that. Um, and then we can tail file.txt like this, and it shows the last 10 lines, okay? And there are many options as well, especially with um, with tail, I think. Um, I've used it a lot, especially in personal projects. Um, so for example, you see here this dash F follow. So output appended data as the file grows. So that's a really good one, and we'll do an example right now for that one. And here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna echo log, let's do like this. I have it written down here, log, start, right? And then we're gonna do here, like this, boom, boom. Then we're gonna output that to log file dot txt like this, right? And let's echo that, so or cat that, right? Let's echo, right? 
And, um, that, and that's just this command here, right? The, um, and then one thing we can do now is that we can tail this file, like this file, log file, with the dash F, and it'll show us there the file. And then one thing we can do here, let's control, let's cancel this real quick. Control L, bring that to the top. And then we're gonna bring up a new window this let's zoom in there a little bit control shift plus is what we do to to get in there and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do echo let's we'll just bring it up here like this uh, okay yeah different session name so echo new log like this say very same thing date like that and then we'll actually append right with this so long file like that like txt right and so when we press enter look on the left here you're gonna see it in real time update okay and see it does it again and we can see that it's a minute later and we can do it again seconds later another second later and we can see it append in real time so as a file grows we can see the changes in real time with using the uh, f switch there okay so now we can control d to get out of there and we can come back here and control c to cancel this um, and then that's it and then control l to clear the screen <laughs> okay so let me zoom in here a little bit so now the next thing that we're gonna cover here is just going over some of this, um, some of this output redirection uh, things. So let's say for example here, we want to use a, ah, for example, I have a file, right? So I'm gonna down, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the website here and I'm gonna download a sample file that I created. We're gonna go Jose and Sosa.com like that. And then we're gonna go here. And then we're gonna go to lab six. We're gonna scroll down. And we're gonna download this sample file here. Okay. And then we're gonna make sure that it's in the folder. So yeah, it's just in our download. So we're gonna X out of there. So we can do this, we can LSR download folder, make sure that it's in there. Perfect. And then so what we're gonna do is we're going to use this command called grep. And we're gonna grep the switch here that I'm using is in more case. And we're gonna look for errors, for example, right? In this folder. And we're gonna use that sample log. Uh, sample log, let me do this. So it's gonna be tilde downloads and then we're going to do sample log like that cool and so now we can see some sample logs that show just errors okay um, and then let's just we can cut that as well too so you can get an idea of what we did there so if we have a file that we just want to look at some stuff and not everything Right? So we didn't want any of the info logs or anything like that. So we just wanted to see the error logs. So this is good for when, you're, when you want to search through um, something more specific. The next thing we want to do is we're going to use this command here. Look at IPA, right? So this command here uh, has a lot of good networking information, um, IP addresses and MAC addresses and things like that. So. Control L, right? So we want to save that somewhere, but we don't want to necessarily type all that out. So what we can do is IP A, and then we can use this right here, this output to redirection here to a text file. So we can, and it also creates it at the same time. So you don't have to worry about that. IP A, boom. And then now it's there. So PC info, we can cat PC info. 
and there it is right there we can even go in there like uh, for example we can do this bi and then if we need to make some changes for example like we want to like add the date or even even better we can do is we can this is on the fly here so we can append the date right the date command right so date like this we can append it to pc info like this and then now if we vi we can see the date so you can get the date the time you looked at this information um another thing that we can do is like for example the host name right so let's say you're working on a computer you need the host name as well we don't want to type that out we can put that command and we can add that append it to pc info like this right and so we can cat PC info and there it is right there at the bottom appended um, but one thing that we don't want to do so if we have PC info right and we have this information if you do like this and take away the append portion it will overwrite the entire file so we can do this and see now the only thing in PC info is server one example okay so yeah be careful there especially if you don't want everything to overwrite um, oh so let's say for example we have an error right so if we do like host name and we misspell it like this that's what we call an error okay and that's an exit code to there okay so we can control L or clear up the screen but um, let's say that you know we want that to go somewhere else right so we can do like hold here on my page I have here host name one two three and then that'll give us an error right command not found but errors can also be redirected so that's what that means here two and then we can error out right to or we can do error out like this txt boom and then we have that for uh, that file now so we can cut that we're out like that and then that that's where it went okay so you can also redirect errors as well um, the next thing we're gonna cover here is going to be the pipes so pipes are really important because um, pipes just help with stringing together multiple uh, commands so in this example let's do this I have IPA like we covered yesterday and this just gives you network information uh, NICs and uh, like a network interface card information um, and then so we have this but we don't want all this so what we can do is we can pipe this output into to be used by another command so we can do I right the same grip that I used earlier and we can do like this I net right we only want the IP addresses right and that those lines start with inet now another thing so well hmm, this isn't as clean as I would want it right so we can pipe this actually into another command or uh, used to be used by another set of command called awk and then awk is a programming language that's in it comes with Linux that can be used for uh, handling text and uh, other kind of things and so we can do print like this and then we can do comma like this two like this uh, let's just do the one right so let's do one that we can see the the progress right so that's just inet but we we want the second field as well so we can put here second field like this Cool. So then now that gives us our IPv4 address and it gives us our IPv6 address as well. And that's a lot cleaner than what we started off with originally with IP8, right? Especially when you just want to focus in on information that you're looking for. Um, so yeah, the above example shows us uh, how available tools on the system, how there are available tools on the system for redirection. Um, and we can use redirect for output to text file to share so redirections are very important important for completing daily tasks in Linux um, 
and you, you have to really understand them and, and use them regularly because it's going to really come into play when you start uh, scripting and creating bash scripts. Um, but that's it for lab six. Any questions, just leave a comment. Thank you so much.